standing there shivering with a gun facing me, with no mercy forced to kill or be killed, with all the people staring at me, knowing that they all got a turn on the machete, slaughtering their own brothers out of choice. I look at the people and my vision dim, just like a midnight dream. Nevertheless, it was not a dream because 10 people had already been slaughtered. Being only 13, I never remembered what happened next because it was just like a dream. Just like a dream. I am a living witness. You were there when they were killing them. You were there when they disappeared. It was not easy to bear the pain. I understand it hurts. I know it's painful. And I know this, not because I hurt, but I was there with you. We shared the same pain. We went through the same torture. We suffered the same loss. But it's time to change and move on. Cause we are a living witness. I understand you hate them. You always talk about revenge. But that's not what I'm about. I had moved on so long now, and so you should. Cause not every Hutu is my brother. Not every Tutsi is my enemy. Not every Congolese is my friend. Not every Rwandese is my enemy. I am a man of peace, and peace is my friend and my brother. I will spread peace around the world. I will take no part in your revenge. I will take no part in your evil deeds. And I will never do the evil you want to do. I have seen what you've seen. I have suffered what you've suffered. I have endured the pain that you endured. But I don't know what you know. And I don't want to do what you want to do. And I certainly don't believe in revenge that you believe in. I believe in God, love, peace and forgiveness. I have moved on so long now and so you should. Because I am a living witness. Um, before I read this last poem, I want to say thank you to the graduates for asking me to be the one speaking for them today. Um, I uh, speak in a lot of places in Boise most of the time raising awareness. And uh, the only time that I feel like I'm making an impact uh, raising awareness about war around the world and genocide and all that, it's when I hear people call me back to speak or uh, tell me how great it was. And uh, what they did, uh, having me here today, just uh, showed me that I'm actually <coughs> making a difference in the hearts of a lot of people who doesn't know what is happening outside. And um, I don't know how the feeling they're feeling right now, because uh, when I was back home, I never got a chance to graduate from high school like they do. So I actually don't even know how they feel these teenagers and being, uh, you know, I jumped that stage, being 12, and I had to pay my own rent, uh, feed myself, struggle to, for survival on my own without my parents. So that was, uh, it was hard for me to have that time of fun and joyous and everything. But uh, looking on them today, um, uh, if my heart wasn't so lazy to attack me, I would have dropped dead with the energy that they had. <laughs> and, um, so this poem that I'm going to read is, uh, it's a, I say, uh, my, um, my teacher used to tell me, you never heard from my lips how hard I value the words of your mom. I never took time to say thank you for all the times you pushed me to take studies serious. You were perfect and had whole life to live, but you bet it on me. All the time, all the time I would have said thank you. I said go away. All the times, all the times I would have appreciated you. I took you for granted. We would say, you're just a teacher, you ain't the boss of me. We would say, you're just a parent, you're not the boss of me. College knowledge, college knowledge and aging wisdom all together will never match the wisdom I learned from you in high school. And even though, and even though I'm yet to understand the knowledge of how successful you kept me up until today. Up until today, I'm yet to discover the value of the knowledge you instead in me. But I know, but I know with time out there, but I know with time out there, it will be a wisdom that I'll be remembering every time I'm about to take a new challenge. And even though, and even though you won't be around to take credit, but in my heart, I will know that 
If it wasn't for you, I've never been the person standing. Now, we got a smile on our faces. It's graduation day, let's rejoice. But 48 hours from this day, 48 hours from this day, the wind will blow, the plane will take off. Our hearts will hurt as we'll be waving goodbye to those that are leaving or going out of state as the buses will be taking off. And it's from this moment forward, from this moment forward that you realize how much of your love, your care, your understanding and willingness that we did not appreciate when we needed to. And we will wish to say thank you, but you won't be around. And that's when the phrase, the phrase, my teacher used to tell me, will start being used in every one of our conversations. Thank you very much for having me here today. Two thousand and ten. One, two, three.